My name is John O'Connor. I'm a family physician. When I came to Fort Chip, I expected I would be seeing people who relied heavily on traditional ways and, and foods. I expected I'd be seeing people that were healthy, as you would expect in, in, in a sort of a location like that. I began to notice illness rates that bothered me. I consulted with colleagues just to ensure that I wasn't, you know, too close uh, and not being able to see the wood for the trees sort of thing. And, and they agreed with me that they, they, looking back over the years, that they noticed increasing pathology coming out from that community, people being referred out to specialists, etc., with illnesses of, of a type and, and in numbers that surprised them. The area that's been desecrated by the tar sand companies is enormous. And no matter what they say, you know, it's, it's pretty well known that it will never be replaced. By all accounts, what's been found in the environment that can be linked, they say, directly to tar sand mining activity has major implications for health, animal, fish and human at points downstream from all the uh, industrial activity. For Chip, of course, is the, uh, at the receiving end of the Athabasca as it enters Lake Athabasca. And we've just heard in the last few weeks confirmation that, for instance, cancer rates, including some rare cancers, are 30% higher in the community for Chip. And that's just cancer. We yet have to look at the other issues, such as uh, autoimmune diseases, hypertension, diabetes, renal failure, and I'm eagerly looking forward to that. The one that bothered me most is a biliary tract cancer, a bile duct cancer. There are several varieties. One particular is called cholangiocarcinoma. It's a very aggressive type of tumor that's difficult to diagnose. The surgery takes a lot out of the patient. Patients often die on the operating table or dies from complications of it. And it's very much, in, in most instances, a palliative procedure, it just buys some time. So to see that in a community for a chip, when the books tell me I should be seeing one case in 100,000, that, that was very surprising for me. If that activity, that industrial activity, and the toxins pouring into the environment and traveling north, if that's the biggest influence, or the major influence on the health of the community of Fort Chip. Obviously, it doesn't take much to conclude that things are going to get worse. That, that, that is an issue that is on the table and needs to be addressed now. There's no more talking, there's no more, that, that has to be looked at right now.